हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई एम बैक विद वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पाइथन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन दिस वाज आस्ट इन वन ऑफ द अमेजोन इंटरव्यू सो रियली गुड प्रॉब्लम इट विल टेस्ट योर पाइथन फाउंडेशन स्किल्स लाइक रनिंग अ लूप वर्किंग विद डिफरेंट डेटा स्ट्रक्चर टपल्स लिस्ट एंड लॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स अबाउट योर लॉजिक बिल्डिंग एज वेल ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट you can try out yourself and then you can check my solution do give a try okay also please do subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed i will be starting a python interview series like the way i have done for sql i am starting a python interview question series we will we will solve lot of complex question asked in different companies so do subscribe to the channel and like this video it will motivate me to create more videos okay so let's start with the problem statements so the problem statement says so we have a employee list right and this is a list of tuples right so if you see the first element of this list is a tuple the second element is again a tuple a tuple and this tuple has two two things right the employee name and employee salary so imagine this is a this is a employee list which has six employees right ankit ankit salary rahul rahul salary sumit sumit salary and so on so there are six employees now the question is we need to find employees right and their salary right we need to get employees and their salary whose salary is greater than average salary of company right so basically we need to get all those employees so in return what i want right so let's let's calculate what is the average salary first of all okay so i'll do a quick calculation so i will say 10000 plus 12000 plus 14000 plus 21000 Plus eleven thousand plus thirteen thousand, right? So this is the total salary, and there are six employees. So I will say divide by six, right? So the average salary is is thirteen thousand five hundred, right? This we know now. So I need in the output, I need the list of tuples. Who's for the employees who sell this more than this average salary, right? This we have to calculate programmatically, not manually. So we will do that. So who will? Who, what will be the output? So output, let's say, will be a list of employees who sell this greater than this average salary. So in this case, if you see Ankit's salary is less, so he will not come. Rahul will also not come. Sumit will come, right? So in the output, we will have Sumit, comma. And then we will have Dheeraj as well, right? Dheeraj also twenty one thousand. Dheeraj, right? Pawan will not be there. Mohit will not be there, right? They are all less than average salary. So this I want in the output. Okay. I hope the question is clear. Okay. Now what we are going to do? We need two things. We will break down this problem in two things. The first thing is, the first thing is I need to get. Average salary, right? Once I get this average salary, the second thing is I need to filter employees with higher than average salary, right? So we will tackle this problem in two steps. So let's go for the first step that get the average salary. Now to get the average salary, I need to sum all of these salaries divided by the divided by number of employees right so what i will do i cannot do direct sum i cannot use pandas here pandas are not allowed right so i need to run over the loop over this list get the salaries get the sum and divide by total number of employees right so let's start writing our loop okay so i will say for emp in emp list right right now let me print emp just okay i am just printing emp nothing else okay 
so let me add some more this right so now let me remove this tab as well for the time being or let it be okay so what i need so for this employee if you see let me take it little bit down okay so when i'm running a loop so for the first iteration it will pick ankit and 10000 right so in the emp for the first iteration ankit and 10000 will go as a tuple so this is a tuple so this loop will run six times first time for this for this element of the list then this then this then this and so on right so if i just say for employee in employee list and print this let's see what it gives so it is just printing the tuples so for the first loop this is going and this is getting printing second loop this is going and this is getting printed right now what i need i need to get salary out of it right so there is a concept of tuple unpacking because this is a tuple right this is a tuple let's say this is my tuple right this is my tuple if i want this in two different variables i can simply say employee name let's say name and salary right so if i do this and if i check what is the name so name you see ankit and salary you see 10000 right so this is how you can do tuple unpacking so what i will do directly i will say give me name salary in this so what it will do it will pick the first tuple and from this tuple it will do the tuple unpacking in the name it will ankit will go in salary 10000 will go right so if i just change it to name comma salary it will print everything you see ankit and salary rahul and its salary right so this is how it will happen now what i will do is i have to sum all the salaries right so i will create a variable total salary initiated with zero and i will say total salary equal to total salary plus salary right so it will start adding adding and if i just run this right and if i check total salary now right so it is saying 81000 right so i need to now to get to get the average salary i need to say total salary divided by length of the list right so this length of the list it will be 6 right because there are 6 so if i just check this what is the length of the list so because there are 6 employees it will say 6 right so i will say this is my average salary right so if i run this and check my average salary my average salary is 13500 so i got the average salary now what i will do i will not just keep it as it is i will create a function so i will say define get average salary right and in this i i need a employee list right so i will say employee list this is just an argument i'm passing right and i need to just give a tab right that's it and i will say return this right instead of this so i am returning the average salary right so when i'm calling this function i will pass the employee list and i will return the average salary okay now next task is next task is so let me do this so i will say average salary equal to get average salary and i will pass employee list okay so this is how you define a function and call the function so i am calling this function passing the employee list and getting the average salary so if i check the average salary now uh, okay i have not run this so let me run this first and now it is fine and if i check every salary it is 13500 so first task is done right next what we have to do we have to again loop over this right loop over this list and see whose employee salary is greater than the greater than the every salary right so let's write the program for that so I will say again for 
for name salary in employee list right if so i have the average salary here right so i will say if salary is greater than average salary right then so i am going to create an empty list now so my list let's say equal to empty list and in this i will put only the name and salary where salary is greater than average salary right so i will say my list dot append right so if salary is greater than average salary then put name and salary right as a tuple okay so this i am going to do and if i run this now uh there is a syntax error my list dot append this looks fine okay there is a bracket missing okay let's run this and see what is there in the my list now you see sumit and dheeraj so we were expecting sumit and dheeraj only so this is how it is working it is again looping over this and checking if the salary is greater than average salary then in my list i am doing this right again i will create a function of this so let me create a function define uh define uh or uh, let me do this define get i'm just giving some random name my list and what it requires it requires two argument one is it requires employee list as well as the average salary right average salary i need to to compare it with so average salary i will get it from this function and pass it to this function right and then i will define my list as this so let me just quickly put a tab okay right so now if i call this function it will give me my list so let me call it my list equal to get my list and i am going to return it right i have to return it here so it has to be outside for loop right return my list correct so i will say my list equal to get my list and i will pass employee list and what i need to pass this average salary right correct so this will give me my list uh, get my list is not defined so i have to run this and then this and if i check my list i got sumit and dheeraj right so if i have to just write this program in a proper way i will define both the functions here right and then i will call this every salary function right and then i will call this so this is my full program now right so this is the first function second function so i am calling the get every salary passing the list so this is my list let me put it this as well so this is my complete program or let me put it down only okay so this is my complete program now if you see right employee list i am passing this employee list and it will give me the every salary which i am storing in this variable every salary and this every salary i am passing in the second function and along with the employee list and this will give me the list of employees whose salary is greater than every salary so if i run this program again and if i check my employee uh, my list okay so we have sumit and dheeraj okay so i hope it makes sense uh, let me know if you have any questions or any other better way to solve this problem uh, uh, thanks for watching have a good day